I, I thank the chairman. Um, I know m m most of the ground's been covered. Uh, the one thing that I would just like to throw out there, I understand that there was some debate about the uh, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle having you know heartburn over the alleged $2.4 billion this is going to cost. I assume that you guys have covered uh, fully the extent to which that completely ignores any kind of dynamic uh, reality of what happens when you uh, remove those kinds of fees and free things up. I just turn that over to uh, um, the, the chair lady if, uh, if she would like to respond. Uh, yes, I, I appreciate the chance to respond to that. The Republicans are committed to to ensuring that any provisions that the Congressional Budget Office may score in ways that were unexpected and uh, maybe it didn't um, completely total out the way that we had expected that we're going to make sure that those uh, that we take action to ensure that it's absolutely paid for. We believe in living within our means and uh, we absolutely believe that by increasing energy, domestic energy production in the United States of America is one of the best things that we could do for our economy. It's one of the best things that we could do for combating inflation. It's the biggest driver of inflation has been the increased energy costs that we have seen over the last couple of years in particular and the uh, just the harmful impact that it has on uh, on people and uh, trying to live their lives. So putting aside the fact that there would obviously be a dynamic component to increasing uh, energy production and creating economic growth in this country so they weren't at the stagnant 0.6% growth that the current administration has just languishing at as we stare stagflation right down the double-barreled uh, shotgun of crushing our economy with high skyrocketing inflation and a crappy economy. And that's where we currently sit. And that one way to free that up might be just color me crazy, open up and free up American oil and natural gas, as well as our own creativity and ability to produce innovation in, in uh, nuclear power. I don't know, you know, that, that great beast of non-CO2 producing uh, energy that my colleagues on the other side of the aisle with their calamitous, the world is ending CO2 production problems, can't touch nuclear power with a 10-foot pole, no sir. But, you know, look, uh, it sort of strikes me as uh, interesting that if we're going to complain about the alleged $2.4 billion, which, by the way, I don't accept if you take into account the dynamic scoring, but we're totally good with the $3.9 billion for DHS climate resilience program in the president's budget. Let's just throw $3.9 billion at climate resilience when we can't even secure the border. Or $4.7, I'm sorry, uh, $4.7 billion for the Southwest Border Contingency Fund to secure the border, which actually restricts it being able to be, able to be used to secure the border. It's just for housing and processing people. Or the $3.5 billion for a new FBI headquarters. But no, we got to you know, get wound up about an alleged $2.4 billion that won't even really materialize. The fact is, to the extent that there's any question about the legislation before us, is that we're not doing anything significant that we need to do going forward on un undermining and eliminating the subsidies that are completely destroying the market, right? We can open up all the permitting in the world. We can open up the entire federal landscape to permitting. We can get rid of all these barriers to permitting. But as my colleagues on this side of the aisle understand, if you are subsidizing other power, forms of power at the expense of people wanting to invest their capital for oil and gas production, what are they going to do? They're going to go seek free money. And they're going to go invest, as they are in Texas, where of the current 795 energy production projects in Texas, all but 15 are for wind and solar. This despite the fact that the Texas grid is 40% reliable on wind and solar, soon to be 50% reliable on wind and solar. Texas is trying to figure out how to manage that and sustain a grid to actually be up, but yet they're battling the subsidies produced by Washington to pay people to produce unreliable energy. Unreliable energy that when the sun sets in July in Texas means a quarter of the grid just vanishes at night. And on a windless day, everybody's running to say, well, where the hell's the power going to come from? Oh, I don't know, from all that coal, gas, and, and uh, production from nuclear power. But oh, wait, does that exist? Oh, but my Democratic colleagues running around saying, oh, we can't, uh, well, they're not you know, producing what they can be because they're trying to just profit all their, you know, pocket all their profits. Well, what business person is going to go invest money into all of the capital production to produce a gas-fired plant or a coal-fired plant if the federal government is paying people large quantities of money to produce the other form of power to make it cheaper, right? Cheaper. Well, it's cheaper because we are borrowing money from China to subsidize it. So I, I look, I applaud this bill at least stepping us, uh, in the right direction in terms of opening up permitting, trying to undo some of the damage that this administration is doing to the greatest economy of the, uh, in the history of the world that is now, uh, you know, 
uh, been knocked on its, on its heels uh, while we're watching China produce a, a, a two new coal-fired plants a week on top of the 1,100 coal-fired plants they currently have in operation, while we have 250 and we're producing none, while we produce very few new gas-fired plants. Also, we can go ch literally tilted windmills while we're running around trying to chase this, this fraudulent utopia, destroying American energy independence and our ability to beat uh, our, our enemies around the world. So I appreciate that, that the administration, or that the, I'm sorry, that the leadership of uh, uh, these two committees, uh, uh, our three committees, are, have, have produced uh, this legislation. I just hope we will go even further to undermine uh, the, the just absolute devastation being levied on the American people's ability to produce wealth uh, by the uh, subsidies that are undermining an actual uh, competitive landscape for energy production. I get back. Gentlelady from Indiana is recognized for questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you to the committee uh, chairs and ranking members. 